What a real estate investment with minimal involvement, no headache, with great passive income. Well, me too. I'm a real estate guy and I've been considering passive income because I want to start a family next year. So I've been considering short-term rentals. In fact, I've been traveling a lot to research this. This is now our favorite Airbnb because it's obviously gorgeous. So keep watching as I explore the topic and discover how sustainable it really is. When I started my research, I asked, what are the top locations for Airbnbs in the country? Palawa! Actually, it's not Palawan. Boracay! No man, it's not Boracay too. Then what is it? According to Airbnb, Pasay was the most popular in 2022. But what's in Pasay that draws in such a big market? To understand the appeal of this area, we must first take a look at the casinos. Fun fact, we have the second most number of integrated resorts in Asia, next only to Macau. According to Pagcor, this area contributed 63.8 billion in revenue in 2022, attracting international gaming tourists from around the world. It has a combined 1,900 gaming tables across three major resort casinos that offer more than just gaming. There is the City of Dreams, where the DreamWorks Dreamplay theme park is located. Then you have Soler, Known for the theater, this place is home to international Broadway shows. Finally, you have Okada which has the cove, the largest indoor beach club in Southeast Asia, and also the Vegas-like fountain show. Wow, so nice! So many people watching! Because of these, there's no competition in the Philippines to the world-class casinos of Bay City, Manila. Ah, so there's a lot of possible renters in the area because of the casinos. But, not everybody gambles though. That's why we are here today in Bay City, Manila to find out what else is going on around here. For the concert-loving crowds, SM Arena is booked all year long with concerts that attract fans from around the country, who for convenience would book Airbnbs. Hello guys, uh, where are you from again? Cavite po. Ah yeah, so what did you come here for? The first thing it's Ah, nice. Stray kids. Uh, so after the concert, uh, ano yung plan niyong gawin dito? Uh, mag -hang hangout lang po, tas mag-dinner. Okay. So are you gonna go home today or are you gonna stay around the area? No, mag-stay po kami sa my Airbnb. They got an Airbnb here. That's yeah. cool. That's just one venue. There's also the MOA concert grounds and open spaces for sporting events and festivals. Apart from the concert, I found myself at a colorful festival at the Baywalk. The main reason why people celebrate this holy is to let go of any kind of bitterness or any kind of um, negativity between them in terms of relationships. And they let loose, they come back together, they hug each other, they color each other, nice. and, and they spread love. And for business events, you have the award-winning SMX, the largest convention center in the country. Wow. <laughs> I also went to an annual interior design convention happening on the same day. Imagine there were three events happening today and I went to all of them. Now we know this place brings in a lot of event goers and also it has three casinos. But, but what if you prefer family friendly activities? Bay City Manila is also known for activities for the young or young at heart.
tourists have a wide selection of shopping at the biggest malls and the largest branches of big name brands. I'm actually in Ikea right now and I bought myself a lamp for the office. It's also home to Michelin awardees like this one and other famous restaurants. If the country's biggest brands and international companies are setting up their largest flagship stores here, then that's undeniable evidence to be bullish about this area. And lastly, out of all the CBDs, this is the only one that has a stunning view of Manila Bay's beautiful sunsets. It's hard to deny that Bay City Manila has such a variety of potential renters. So this leads me to the next question. Where exactly in this area is the best place to start a rental business? Let me show you something. The airport's just over there. Now let's go this way. Okada's just over there. Now let's go this way. Solaire is over there. And now right here is the biggest Ayala Mall across the street. Now let's go there. And lastly, across the street, you have City of Dreams. But despite this strategic location, we don't have many options for short-term rentals in this area. So, where am I? This is Copeton Bay Suites by Angkor Land. Apart from its location, what I like about this one is that it's the only one that's rental ready with fully furnished units, with a property management and leasing services. What's gonna come in handy is their online property management app. I haven't seen anything like this in all my travels. And for busy people like me, it's so convenient because I don't have to worry about anything while still enjoying the benefits of owning a short-term rental. Or, as they like to call it, rent investment. So, is this the answer? Have I found my short-term rental? Well, I started this journey looking for passive income and I ended up discovering so many exciting things to see and do here that makes it a rental hotspot. <laughs> so, so, if you want a sustainable rental business, you can't beat the influx of possible renters in Bay City, Manila, where there is something for everyone. After all, they don't call this place the entertainment city for nothing. As for me, what area do you think I should explore next?